Daily Pink Slip. From active volcanoes to dizzying heights, we're exploring the 10 most dangerous hikes on Earth. Number 10. How would you like to go on a nice little trek across the side of a mountain? At Mount Ashan in China, they've been nice enough to provide these ridiculously narrow planks to walk on. Don't worry, you can grab onto these incredibly loose chains. At some point, the planks aren't there, but have no fear. There are footholds gouged straight into the rock for your convenience. With an estimated 100 deaths per year, Mount Ashan is one of the deadliest peaks in the world, and we can't imagine why. Number 9. Officially the easiest hike on our list, Mount Pinatabo of the Philippines only takes about an hour to complete. The catch? Well, this little nature trail around a giant lake is actually the entrance to a still active volcano. And yes, it has erupted while there were people nearby killing hundreds. Hope somebody brought the marshmallows. Number 8. This awe-inducing landscape is only visible if you can traverse the, well, Drakensburg Traverse in South Africa. The trail itself is 40 miles of rigged together cables, chain ladders, and animal trails. The only thing they're missing is duct tape. Before 1985, 55 people lost their lives plummeting to their doom off the Drake. Why they stopped counting after 1985, we'll never know. But that number can't be getting any smaller. Number 7. We hope you brought your haggis. On the Anakagok Ridge in Scotland, you'll find an incredibly difficult jaunt up jagged peaks and narrow passes for experienced climbers only. The highland weather is consistently rainy, causing perpetually slick footing. The interesting thing about this ridge is that most people give up and try to climb off the ridge and end up landing right into their own open casket. If you can just push through to the end, there's an easy way down to reward your perseverance as well as these amazing views along the way. Number 6. The Caminito del Rey is actually a bit of urban exploration. It's a narrow cement path that was built for the workers of a local hydroelectric plant. The issue? This trail was constructed over a hundred years ago and it's seen some better days. Huge sections of the trail are completely missing. You can enjoy scenic views of the valley below either before or after your body plummets helplessly towards the water. Number 5. Here's an example of a place that's incredibly dangerous to hike but has claimed no actual fatalities. However, good luck getting there in the first place. The maze is a beautiful natural labyrinth in the Canyonlands National Park in Utah. If you've ever seen the film 127 Hours, then just know you may be cutting your own arm off at some point. Falling rocks and flash floods could cause you to meet your maker. That is, if you could actually find the place. Number 4. Just past Machu Picchu lies a hike up Juana Picchu. If you're looking for a leisurely stroll, this one probably isn't for you. It's nicknamed the Hike of Death. This incredibly steep staircase is falling apart and one wrong move could have you tumbling towards certain doom. Of course, if you do happen to make it to the very top, you're rewarded with a breathtaking view of Machu Picchu. Take lots of pictures, you may not want to attempt this one a second time. Number 3. New Zealand is home to the spanning landscapes made famous in the Lord of the Rings movies, and there are plenty of places to see those sights without goofing around on Cascade Saddle. It's an 11-mile hike through extremely wet and slippery terrain. More than a dozen people have lost their life just by bending over to tie their boots. During a recent death, the local coroner actually suggested the trail be closed or improved, both of which didn't happen. Number 2. There are many ways to experience all that Hawaii is famous for, and what better way than on an extremely sketchy 22-mile trek? Kalalo features falling rocks, landslides, and skinny ledges. These all pose a major threat to those that just want to capture that sweet profile picture. Interestingly enough, the beach is more dangerous than the trail. More than 100 people have lost their lives just going for a dip in these waters. But why? Sharks? Lava? Sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads? Who knows, past the roast pig. Number 1. If the violent winds don't get you and an avalanche doesn't sweep you away, then the hypothermia will finish the job. Mount Washington in New Hampshire is well known for its crappy weather. Summit temperatures average a brisk 27 degrees. Even the park's website encourages you to reconsider. Really, right on the website it says, quote unquote, there are no guarantees that hikers will escape the mountain unscathed, so if absolute safety is what you require, then avoid a visit. Maybe it's best to leave this one to the pros and the idiots. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We put up brand new videos every week, so hit that subscribe button and you won't miss a single one. And remember, if you watched this video at work and you still have a job, then you just dodged the Daily Pink Slip.